Hello, you need device. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make this auto gele. Specifically, I will be teaching you how to make round pleated gele base with this top design. One of my YouTube subscribers sent this picture to me. This is not my work. But the picture, the video I will be teaching you today will give you a guide on how to get the base with this top design. So enjoy. And first of all, we'll be cutting out 23 inches length by 4 pieces for the base. 23 inches length by 4 pieces. Remember, show okay, this particular show okay, it comes in pieces. So we'll be cutting out 23 inches length. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to so we take it to the same machine and arrange this form. We arrange it on top of each other, then you seal down. That's how we're going to attach the four of them. Place it on top of each other and seal down. Stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blood. I'm done sewing and the next thing we're doing is to hem the edges. So just watch what I'm doing and see how we hem the edge of the shoe, okay? You fold one and fold again. You fold, take just small quantity, just take little quantity, you fold in, then you fold again. Then you take the sewing machine and sew everything down. Remember, whatever you do on this side, you're going to do it to the other side of your shoe, okay? If it's not equal, just use your scissors to trim it off. Use the scissors to trim it over time. It's not always equal. Just trim it off. Then um, you fold the way just did the other side and hem the edge. Okay, I'm done with sewing. So you can see how I hem the edges of my ashoge. Okay, so it won't pull off. All right, next now we're doing now is to form my plates. Forming of the plates proper. So um, this is the right side and I'm going to turn it upside down. They just fold in. Take in like one inch inside, one inch. So after folding in this one inch, I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and sew it one inch. So you fold it and sew on your sewing machine. You can see how mine is neatly done. So next thing I'll be doing is to form another plate on top of it. Please watch carefully what I'm doing. Um, at this junction, what I'll be doing now is to pleat on top of that one. Make sure it covers that thread. Any pleats I'm making now must cover the thread you see, okay? So, I'm going to fold it on top of the first pleat I made and sew. Please, sew at this edge, not at the tip, not at this point. Sew at under, at this point, sew it down. All right, next now we're doing is to form another plate. Um, the same method you use in forming another plate, that's what you're going to do. And make sure it covers the thread. Don't forget to cover the thread very well. And make the place to be equal, please. Try as much as you can to do that. After forming this plate, I'm going to sew it again with your sewing machine. Um, I'm done with that. So I'll be getting four plates here. I'm on the last stage, okay? Please, when you get to the last stage, don't cross this point. Make sure you don't cross this point, okay? You're just using one and a half. Don't cross this point. Watch where I'm stopping. The reason why I'm doing this is so the back of the gill will be able to cover that person's head very well. Alright, so follow same technique and complete the remaining plates. The red I'm true with everything and next thing I'll be doing is to seal the edge of this part. Make sure you seal down the edges with your sewing machine. And once you are done doing that, you take your velcro tape. This is called this black thing is called velcro tape or magic tape or plaster. Depends on what they call it in your area. So this velcro tape has a rough part and the smooth part. So you take the rough part and keep on the left side 
can see it, it should be on the left side, while the smooth part will be on the right side. So next thing you'll be doing is take your measuring tape and mark out two inches, two inches. So you mark it on top of the left side of the ashoke. You place it like this. Just what I'm doing. Place it this way, and you see, you see this method, you see in a block form. You understand me? Then for the other part that is smooth, turn your ashoke, turn the back of the ashoke, and mark two inches again. Then marking two inches, you place it this way, and sew with the sewing machine. You sew down with the sewing machine. I'm done with my. I can see how I have done that. Then. Our gilly round plate base is ready. All right, the next material we'll be looking at is one for our design, and the length measures 16 inches into three pieces. 16 inches into three pieces. So you join the way we normally do, place on top of each other, take your sewing machine, and sew down. Remember that method. I'm done sewing mine, and you can see how it looks. Next thing we'll be doing is to hem the edges. I'm going to fold it in. I've shown you how to hem the hem edges of your I show you, okay. So using same method, I'm going to fold into then you seal down with the sewing machine. Do it on the both sides. Next now we're doing is to form my plate. I've hemmed the edges and you can see the outcome. So locate the center of this material and form your plates down just the way I'm doing. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up on my thoughts hitting After sewing at this point, you try to make everything to be equal Make sure that it is equal So after adjusting and you, you see that everything is equal Use your needle and thread to tack the center in an ashtray i'm sorry that i'm so inconvenient okay just let me be me and i'll stay out of your way i can see the way you look at me i'm such a disgrace i never really asked to be brought into this place you want to love me well then baby have a taste all the highs and the lows no you'll never be the same i don't really want to hurt you but all right i'm straightening out the pleats trying to make the pleats to come out very well so this is what I will do. Remember, whatever I will be doing to this side is what I, is also what I will do to the other side, okay? So after doing this, we will start forming the design proper. Please watch closely and see the way I'm forming these designs. The best way to catch the way I design mine is by looking and paying close attention. But I can't control the pain. If you're sticking by my side, maybe we can be okay. Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today. I promise that I've never felt this way. I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away Like nothing I found, my mind over
So once I done with Taki, remember we started from this side, just turn the Ashoke to the other side. You can see the way I did the turning. And you do the same thing we did on the other side, on this side. The same process, do the same thing. And you get that same design. Watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away. Yeah, yeah. Once you're done with everything, use your needle and thread to tack. Same needle that you used in tacking the other one, that's what you use and tack this part. So continue with this process before we do the finished part of this design. Once you're done with that, you can use your scissors to cut out this excess part. You also form your knot with your needle and thread and cut out the excess. I mean, if you look at the center, you find out that the Ashok is pulling out. So I'll be using my candle gun with my glue gun. I'll press it down so candle gun will come out and I use it to hold it down so it will stop removing. You can see the appleted bow is ready and next thing we'll be doing is to cut out a piece to cover up the center. The length of our shoe is 6 inches, then we cut out 3 inches, 3 inches, then measure out half inch, just half, and fold it on one side, then measure out half inch again, and fold on one side, then you're going to use your UHU gum to hold it down. After forming your loop, next thing to do is to attach it to the center of the bow. Please watch to the end and see how I do my tacking, how I tack down this loop to the bow. Um, let's not forget to observe that 
my bow design, my pleated bow design is not as full as the one you saw in the picture. The reason is because I didn't want mine to be too full. I don't want it to be too big. But if you want yours to be too big, just add extra one to the bow design I did. You remember I cut out three pieces, right? So what you do is cut like four pieces or five pieces. Then what I mean by five pieces is 16 inches length. Cut it like four or five pieces. Then do same process and you get it to be very full. I don't know if you get me very well. All right, I'm done with the design and I want to tack my design to the gele base. After locating the center of my gele base, I won't be placing mine this way. I'll be placing it this way. Though you can do it the, the way you want. It's all about creativity. So the next thing I'll be doing now is to use my needle and thread to hold it down to the gele base. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.